Hello everyone! At iProxy Online, we often receive questions like which mobile phone to choose for our service. And now I'm happy to tell you that we have finally found the best phone in terms of price and quality. This Android can do what no modern iPhone can. So I'm gonna present you one really inexpensive model. In Russia, you can get it for less than 300 rubles or 40 dollars. We have performed real world testing of the device in iProxy Online with automatic IP change, with IP change by link, by comment in the Telegram bot, etc. The phone that I'm talking about here is the Alcatel 15033D. Here I have it, brand new and pretty, just delivered from the store. I'm gonna unbox it and demonstrate how to root this phone. Okay, let's open the box. The battery comes separately, so we need to install it first. You may wonder how to open the back lid. With anything sharp or a fingernail, we pick it up, starting from the lower right corner. We slowly go along the perimeter. Having picked it up, we go along the perimeter, first along short side, then on the long side, and finally along the top. That's it guys, the phone is ready and we can move on to the routing process. Routing is performed on Windows. If you are a MacBook user, no problem, I will attach a link to instructions on how to install Windows on Mac OS and you can root it. I actually have Windows installed inside a virtual machine on a MacBook. Ok, let's stop the phone now. Connect the phone to the computer through the USB cable. Go to the settings, system, about the phone and tap the build number section 7-8 times to unlock the developer mode. Once unlocked, go back and open developer options. Here we need to enable both OEM unlocking and USB debugging options. At this point we have completed all the actions which we needed to perform on the phone. Now we need to download the file from Google Drive and place it in Drive C under ADB folder. Here you can see all the files that you need to download. After we placed the necessary files in the ADB folder, go to the command line, enter the command. Now enter ADB devices. On the phone you will see a permission request. Allow USB debugging. Make sure that always allow checkbox is checked and then tap OK. Just to make sure everything works, let's run the ADB devices command again. The command prints out the list of devices and we can see that our phone is connected. If your phone is not connected, you must install drivers. Usually these drivers are installed automatically when you connect your Android device to computer through the USB cable. But sometimes it doesn't work. So you have to download the special drivers independently by yourself. The link will be attached. Now let's run the following command. The phone restarts the moment we see this small text message in the lower left corner of the screen, we should run fastbook OEM unlock command. Then press the volume up key once. We should first erase the system portion by running fastboot erase system command. Then we flash a new system image to the phone with fastboot system system new dot img command. Guys, all the most difficult part is behind. You can relax now. There is only one command left. But first, we will wait until all 11 stages are completed. Then we enter one last command and our phone will be ready. You will probably have to wait about 10 minutes. As we can see, the process has completed. Now we only need to run one last command. The phone will reboot. Since the phone was reset, you will need to perform initial setup again. But after you do it, you will have a cheap rooted phone which is ready to work with iProxy Online.
Let's go through the initial setup of the phone. I choose English as the main language. Here I also choose the SIM one would be used for mobile data traffic. Let me now install iProxy online and check the remote change of the IP address. So guys, I've installed the iProxy app. I've also added a connection named Alcatel Demo 2 in my account. I have 4264 rubles on the balance right now. We should pay the tariff first because the process won't work unless the connection is paid. Next, I log in to the iProxy app on the phone using credentials from my account. Select the connection that I previously created. Here is a request for permission of the super user, tap grant, tap allow button. OpenVPN client is currently being downloaded. VPN has been downloaded. Let's install it. The VPN is installed. Let's configure it now. That's it. We see the connected status. The phone is paid until May 19. IP address on the phone ends with the numbers 171.30. In my account dashboard on the website, we can see that the connection has turned green. This means that our proxies are working, connection is online. Let's click the change IP button. We see that the IP address has changed. Click the change IP button again. IP has changed again, and let's do it again. So, what you need is working perfectly. Use it and enjoy it. Wish you success with iProxy.online. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel, on our Telegram channel and Telegram chat. And see you. Goodbye.